guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 12 of Welcome to No Hero Academia. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Baby. I swear, if the guy who plays she's like he does not get a freaking award for this show, I should not. Because he's so good in it. I mean, this is the same dude who voiced the giraffe in every <laughs> story. And review Starlight and a couple of, like I think one other one or two other characters that I saw in the different animes. But I think this no. Between this role, um, the role that he's in, in Fire Force and then the giraffe role for Review Starlight. Those are like his top three best roles. There's one role that I saw that he did in a Patreon show that I did a couple uh months ago that I thought it was okay, but it wasn't like top tier, uh, but you're probably wondering why in the world is the giraffe like <laughs> in the top tier world, but all I have to say is just go watch the anime, because honestly he, in that show he makes a really good villain as well he's kind of like um, freaking Cube from uh, Monica Magica and that show was good <laughs> never would have suspected it though, but still it's good to fuck Mm hmm. God, I look like I'm pop a boy. <laughs> In your life, don't worry about them. You focus on Chisaki and Eddie. Just mm -hmm. sucking and Eddie, get them and then come back for them. Thank 
Of course. Of course, yes, get the heck out. Yeah, but you ain't got time to see that. You gotta get out. I know. Just get him out of there, please. You're not going to make it in time, Deku. Mm. Oh my god, you're so pretty. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, he down there. Yeah. I mean, but it's enough for him, though. But... Mm -hmm. Well, you wouldn't have known that. The same thing possibly could have happened even if you didn't use it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm 
on. Oh, honey. No. It's not your fault. I'm not ready for this. No, I don't want it to. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Cards. Oh, my baby. So funny. All of this is wrong. Betty.
the fucking hold that he has over her. It just. No. He has to try. I can't even look at him because my eyes, I can't. Oh We're not even there yet. And I'm emotional. This is emotional for you. I just said I can't, but it went by so fast, like really quickly. There were some slow parts, but still, overall, it went fast. It was too good. Like, oh my God, I can't. I just wanted to read next week already. I just want to watch the next episode. I'm just, it's getting closer and closer to the part that I'm not ready for. That This this episode in a nutshell was really, I want to say everything from where Chisaki transformed to the end was shit that I wasn't really ready for, but at the same time I was. But, uh, I can't. Just the fact that, you know, he, uh, he did that to Eddie. I mean, I'm glad that they showed, like, a little bit more, but still at the same time. Because she's so precious and adorable, and you want to protect her from him. It freaking hurt. Like, honestly, I almost wanted to punch my computer. Because <laughs> I can't stand Tiaki. Yes, he's an amazing villain, but the stuff that he did to her is just so messed up and wrong. And Hmm. I can't. I don't even want to talk about for kids or nine and the stuff that he said because I'm not ready for that. There is something else I kind of want to say. Like, seeing his first transformation between, I mean, they did like really, really well, but I feel like I don't know, like, it just felt, it wasn't scary enough to me. I mean, as someone who likes horror movies, but then when you look at something from a manga, especially like this or anything, and how it's supposed to feel that terrifying, especially whether you're a manga reader or not, and, like, seeing it right then and there, you're supposed to, like, feel something. I, I felt something, but, I mean, it wasn't really terrifying at the most. It was just, like, that, like, that chill down your spine or like when so like when you get that really weird feeling that something's gonna happen good or bad things like that but i mean just i've said it once and i'll say it again this the crap that he has over her it just slowly her coming and then just like seeing them get away like that it was the best thing in the world but then seeing her go back it hurts so much because that's how much he has hold of her and it's just like my god and I know she wants everybody not to be her, but everything that's going on and what's happening, it's for her at the end of the day, and they're trying to save her. My precious daughter, like, oh my god, I can't. I just love her so much, and I just don't want anything else to happen to her, because she just deserves the world. She deserves to have a life better than this, and 
I can't talk about it yet because we're getting there. But I think about probably, mm, probably next week or in like, pff, this is episode 12. So maybe episode 13, 14, or 15 is when I can start talking about things that um, I couldn't really talk about for the past couple of weeks. It just depends on where it's going to be by the end of 13, 14, 15. Because we are getting closer to the end of this arc, getting into um, the following arc. And so... Yeah, because a lot of things, I mean, in these last few episodes, a lot of stuff is going to happen and I cannot wait because this is going to be so good. And I hope it can match the, um, not mm, the energy and like how impressed I was when I read it, but we'll see. We ain't going to know until next week. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction view towards episode 12 of My Hero Academia. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Mattress Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 13. Bye, guys.